Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to read the chapter Old Man at the Bridge which is written by Ernest Hemingway. Old Man at the Bridge is one of the Hemingway's shortest tales. It is based on an Easter Sunday stopover at the Ebro River during his coverage of the Spanish Civil War in April 1938 as a newspaper correspondent the story which was originally composed as a news dispatch from the amposter bridge over the ebro river was later on submitted by the hemingway to the kane magazine as a short story it was later on published in the book the fifth column and the first 49 stories published in 1938 in the story old man at the bridge The author reflects on the horrors of war and the physical, mental, and psychological effects of it on countless civilian victims, those without politics. Now let's see about the author. Ernest Miller Hemingway, an American novelist, short story writer, and journalist, was born in USA on July twenty one, eighteen ninety nine. completing his high school he became a reporter for a few months for the Kansas City Star he then left for the italian front to enlist with the world war 1 ambulance divers his war time experience formed the basis for his novel a farewell to arms which is published in 1929 When he was not writing, Hemingway spent much of the 1930s chasing adventure, big game hunting in Africa, bullfighting in Spain, and etc. When the United States entered World War II in 1941, Hemingway served as a correspondent and was present at several of the war's key moments, including the D-Day. landing hemingway died in his hometown on july 2 1961 now let's see the story in detail the story begins with a chance encounter between a young soldier the narrator and an old man with silver rimmed spectacles sitting by the side of the road at the pontoon bridge The young soldier was on a mission to cross the bridge and find out how far the enemy had advanced. When the soldier crossed the bridge towards the enemy, he found an old man at the bridge, and when he came back, the old man was still there. His curiosity. The old man told him that he was seventy-six years old and was forced to leave his hometown of. San Carlos because of artillery fire from the enemy he further told the narrator that he had already walked 12 kilometers and was too tired to move any further the old man said that he was the last person to leave the hometown as he was anxious for the safety of the animals he was taking care of The old man said that he was looking after three sets of animals that is two goats a cat and four pairs of pigeons he said that he had no family the old man unconcerned about the threat of his own life expressed his concern for the safety of the animals He admitted that there was no need to worry about the cat as cat can look after themselves and since he had left the dove cage unlocked the pigeons too would fly to safety but he lamented the fate of the two goats who had nowhere to go and nobody to look after them the more concerned for the old man's safety then that of his animals in, inquired about the old man's politics the old man replied he had none the narrator then advised the old man to cross the bridge and catch a truck 
towards Barcelona. But the man replied that he did not know anyone there. However, the old man thanked the narrator for his suggestion and continued to express his concern for the fate of the animals he had left behind. The narrator reassured him, saying that the animals would be fine. The narrator told the old man to get up and walk. The old man tired to get up and walk. But he was too weak and tired and sank back to the ground. The narrator thought that the old man's only luck was that cats could look after themselves and the day was overcast. So the fascist enemy who were advancing towards the bridge would not be able to launch their plans. The title of the story Old Man at the Bridge is quite appropriate. For the entire story revolves around the conversation with the narrator had and with an old man sitting by the side of the road at the pontoon bridge. The old man in the story is a symbol of all those who suffers the horrors of war. The old man is also a symbol of the defeat of liberal democracy in Spain. In the Spanish Civil War in 1938, the Spanish loyalists were defeated by the reactionary forces of Francisco Franco, aided by dictators like Hitler and Mussolini. The bridge is symbolic of the need to give a war to talk to each other and connect with each other through the bridges of faith, trust, brotherhood and humanity. In The Old Man at the Bridge, the action of the story is set on Easter Sunday, the day when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, that is, on the third day after he was purified. Thus, Easter is viewed as a welcome time of rebirth, renewal and possible change. However, for the old man at the bridge, this day meant inevitable death and the destruction of that was meaningful to him. The story Old Man at the Bridge has two levels of conflict. One of the conflicts is that between man and his inner self which is seen in the character of the old man. The old man is guilty of leaving his animals behind for the fear of fire by the artillery. He is struggling with his inner self as he feels he has not done justice to the animals he was supposed to protect. Thus crossing the bridge would have protected him physically but would not have given him psychological and inner peace. Second. Man against another man is the other conflict in the story. In times of war, a man causes pain and suffering to another man. He fights with his own race for a seemingly greater good. The fascists who attacked the city in the story are after the helpless civilians, as symbolized by the old man. Man's inhumanity to man forces the old man to leave his hometown. He does not have anyone to consider as his family in the form of human beings. But he has a few pets who are his own. He has to leave them behind. Deprived of any hope, he sits near the bridge waiting for his death. Now let discuss some question answer. First question, what is a pontoon bridge? Why are many people crossing the bridge? Answer, a temporary bridge used by the navy or army to cross water bodies is called pontoon bridge. Many people, carts, trucks, men, women and children were crossing it because to protect themselves from the attack by the enemy troops. Second question, what makes the narrator feel that there was nothing to do about the old man? The answer, 
the old man surrenders to his fate and till the end he only thinks of his animals the narrator thus realizes that nothing can be done about him and moves on leaving him at the bridge third question what is all the good luck that old man would ever have answer all the luck that he would have is that the cats could protect themselves and as the day was overcast the fascists would not launch their planes to attack the local people fourth question how does the narrator try to reveal the old man of his warriors does he prove successful the narrator was not able to relieve himself answer the narrator was not able to relieve him of his worries the old man surrenders to his fate and till the end he only think of his animal the old man was very much consoled by the words spoken by the narrator fifth question the story is set on an easter sunday which symbolic symbolically shows renewal and peace how is it ironical and with reference to the events in the story easter is answer easter is symbolically viewed as a welcome time of rebirth renewal however for the old man at the bridge his this day meant inevitable death and the destruction of that was meaningful to him